Hello, welcome back to my channel, Christian Faith and Fiction. My name's Lou. Today I'm going to be looking ahead to 2022 and picking out some books that are my most anticipated Christian fiction books coming out next year. So I've had a little look through the lists of books that publishers have been putting out on their catalogues and these are the books that I think I'm most likely to read. Um, there probably will be more added during the year, so I maybe do another one of these later on in 2022. Uh, the first book I found is coming out in January, and that is A Stranger's Game by Colleen Coble. The first part of the description reads, A wealthy hotel heiress, Tori Bergstrom hasn't been back to Georgia since she was 10, but she's happy to arrange a job for her best friend at one of the family properties on Jekyll Island. A suspicious death. When Tori learns that her best friend has drowned, she knows this is more than a tragic accident. Lisbeth was terrified of water and wouldn't have gone swimming by choice. I've enjoyed quite a few of Colleen Coble's books. They tend to be romantic suspense books, contemporary ones. Uh, so I'm going to look forward to reading that one at some point. To Treasure an Heiress by Rosanna M. White also releases in January. This is the next series that um, she's been bringing out. I just finished the Codebreakers series and this is the second book in her newest series, which I think is called The Secrets of the Isles, if I'm reading that correctly <laughs> off the cover of the book. I haven't read the first book yet, so I'll, I will get to this one when I've read that one. Uh, but the description reads, Beth Tremaine has always been drawn to adventure. During her childhood, she fed that desire by exploring every inch of the Isles of Scilly. As an adolescent, she dreamed of love in London's ballrooms. Now, tum now stumbling across an old map on her family's property, she's found more adventure than she ever craved in the hunt for pirate treasure. Unfortunately, Beth can't escape the attentions of her family's guest, Lord Sheridan. The Isles of Scilly is, are a place that I would like to visit. They are off the coast of Cornwall. Um, I'm not exactly sure where, but uh, they're somewhere I'd like to go to at some point. Oathbound by Victoria McCombs, I think that's how you say it, McCombs, uh, releases in February, and this is a Christian fantasy novel. Beware the waters, the dangerous deep brings ruin to all. Emmy has spent her life avoid, avoiding anything to do with pirates, but the fates are cruel and now a hidden sickness leads her to partner with pirates for the one thing that can save her, a cure on, a cure on an island none are certain exists. The pirate captain's secrets are darker than the deep and threaten to kill them all. His obligations are tinged with betrayal for his oath bind must be fulfilled. To ignore it is to invite peril of unimaginable destruction. I like the idea of a fantasy based around pirates. That sounds exciting to me. In Search of a Prince by Tony Shiloh releases in February. And I believe this is the first traditionally published novel that she's brought out. I've read some of her ones that she's published independently and I really like her as a writer. Um, and this cover is just gorgeous, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. Brielle Adebayo is fully content teaching at a New York City public school and taking annual summer vacations with her mother to Martha's Vineyard. But everything changes when her mum drops, the mother of all bombshells. Brielle is a princess in the kingdom of Oloro... I can't... I don't... Ills? Africa. I don't know how to pronounce that. Is that an I-L-Z or an L-L-Z? Anyway, uh, she must immediately assume her royal position since the health of her grandfather, King Tiwa Jumo Adebayo, is failing. This, at the description of this book, reminds me of um, Princess Diaries. I like the sound of that one. Also in February, Francine Rivers is bringing out her new book, The Lady's Mine. Now, this one looks like it's set in a time period of American history that I'm not that interested in, but 
I it's a Francine Rivers book, so uh, I might read it at some point, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be anticipating this book. 1875, when Catherine Walsh arrives at tiny Calvada, a mining town nestled in the Sierra Nevadas, falling in love is the farthest thing from her mind. Banished from Boston by her wealthy stepfather, she has come to claim an inheritance from the uncle she never knew. A defunct newspaper office on a main street, overflowing with brothels and saloons, and a seemingly worthless mine. Moved by the oppression of the local miners and their families, Catherine decides to relaunch her uncle's newspaper, and then finds herself in the middle of a maelstrom. Maelstrom? Pitted against Calvada's most powerful men, but Catherine intends to continue to say and publish whatever she pleases, especially when she knows she's right. The Italian Ballerina by Christy Cambron releases in July. Uh, the Paris Dressmaker I read this year and I really liked it. Uh, I think this is going to be another similar novel, although I don't know if it's got any connections to the other one, um, but it's also set in the world in World War II. Rome 1943. With the fall of Italy's fascist government and the Nazi regime boldly taking over the streets of Rome, royal ballet dancer Julia Bradbury's ballet company is stranded in the city and must take refuge in the <laughs> Fate Beni Fratelli Hospital on Tiber Island. I'm sure that's, I've not pronounced that correctly. While rumours fly that the Allies will soon march on Rome, the stranded prey for liberation and an end to the brutal war, but when Julia learns of, mis of a mysterious sickness that is fast sweeping the halls of the hospital known to the insiders only as K syndrome, she is drawn into the deception of one of the greatest cons in history. And then in November, The Brilliance of Stars by Janelle Jasilski releases. Amid the chaos of the Great War, two master assassins risk it all for love. Washington DC 1914, Ivy Olwyn knows how to survive on the streets without two coins to rub together, but when she finds herself whisked into a secret society that seeks to maintain the balance of good and evil in the world, she can't believe there's more to life than just surviving. In the hallowed and historied halls of Talon, she learns European languages and ballroom dancing, as well as demolitions and sharpshooting. In short, everything a spy and assassin will need to survive in the field. So this is uh, First World War Spies, by the looks of it, and I really enjoyed the last book I read by Janelle Chisilski. So there's a range of books for you that I am looking forward to. Uh, let me know in the comments if any of those sound interesting to you, or if you've got any others that you are really anticipating. I will hopefully be posting my uh, monthly videos on the new releases in Christian fiction that are coming out through the year. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a book emoji in the comments. I hope you have a really great reading week and you're having a good uh, Advent season and staying healthy. Until next time, God bless. Bye!